we're always hearing, don't put your fragile plants in the ground until tax day. Well, now that's here, and it is open season for gardeners. We've got Francis Sheeran here, the garden manager at Village Mill Farms. Welcome, glad you're here. Thank you, thanks for having me. Um, you say now is the time to transplant your plants, put them into the garden space. So um, set us up for what we need to know about that. Yeah, so um, April 15th is past our frost date, so mm -hmm. any plants that you wanna plant in the ground, you are free to do so now. Um, okay. I would still give yourself a couple more weeks to put in like peppers or okra, really hot weather crops, but okay. for the most part, you're good to go. So get that garden space prepared. Um, and then your first piece of advice um, really is great inspiration to get going. You say the only bad garden is the one that you don't try, the one that you don't yes. grow. Yes, definitely. Um, I have people all the time tell me I want to start a garden, mm -hmm. but I'm scared. I've never done it before. I don't know what I'm going to grow. Um, start with things that you like to eat and try an herb or just something small. Yeah, you don't have to set yourself up for failure by thinking you're going to be a master gardener exactly. in this first yeah. season. <laughs> um, it's overwhelming for somebody to decide um, that they're going to do this overnight. That's why you say, Plant what you can eat. What are the what are the types of things that are people's favorites? Yeah, so I always recommend starting with herbs, so mm -hmm. things like basil or parsley or cilantro, um, and then maybe adding a couple vegetables in there. So if you like greens, try some kale or spinach, uh -huh. um, things like that. And how wonderful not to have to buy that giant bushel of cilantro when you just needed a little amount. Exactly. That makes people happy. Um, there are shortcuts to you say that are efficient and will save you money. What do we mm -hmm. what can we lump together? Yeah, so one of my biggest tips for people is do not not just buy the most expensive potting soil that you can find. Mm -hmm. um, I think that people can get overwhelmed with all of the options. You can do a mixture of like 75% topsoil and then just get like a bag or two of really high quality compost. Okay. And that'll cut down on your cost a lot. Um, what's in that bag behind? That's yes. part of our demonstration. Yes. Yeah, so this is a little bag of fertilizer. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get fertilizer from most like plant stores or even at Lowe's or Home Depot. And just adding like a half cup of this to your garden will help kickstart the nutrients and get things growing. And let's go through the process because I think a lot of people kind of fumble through this. You just kind of pull gently and then <laughs> shove this into the other ground. But what, what are we really doing with our with our hands to give yes. this the best success rate? Yeah. So these these are cabbage plants. Mm -hmm. um, these are more of a cool weather crop, but you can still plant them this time of year. Okay. Um, and to transplant, what we're going to do is we're going to pull from the base, so go all the way down to get your fingers a little bit in the dirt, uh -huh. and pull up on this to pop it out. Very good. And you can see we have all of our roots intact still, and all of the soil is still connected. And then what you're going to do is in your garden space, you're going to dig out with three or four fingers um, a little bit deeper than this is tall and then just stick the whole plant in and then cover it back up. And you don't need to press it down or anything, just nice and gentle. And you don't need to be breaking anything up because nope. it's packaged to go into the ground. That's yes. what it wants to do, just exactly. like that. Exactly. Okay, yeah. that, that makes it easy. Yeah. And then um, you give people advice too, because when it comes to maintaining a garden, you can't just assume, like all those poor house plants, that you're gonna get around to just remembering to water. Yes. What do you do instead? Yeah, so if you have a bigger garden, I definitely recommend getting a timer system so you don't have to worry about it. But there you go. if you aren't there yet, if you just have a couple things, just just set a schedule and stick to it. Try to water two or three times a week, mm -hmm. water for a long time, and then if you like have it in your schedule, I'm gonna do it every day before breakfast, you're much more likely to do it and your plants will be happy about it. You know what, that's nice. We get into a routine and then that's when it can bring joy because for a lot of people, this gardening is their piece. It shouldn't be an errand that you're frantically running around trying to take care yes, of. Yes, absolutely. All yeah. right, so, so use that piece and finally encourage anybody um, to try this. Anybody can have a garden. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it, it doesn't have to be an intimidating, scary process. Yes. Tell them. Yes, it doesn't. <laughs> and if you are looking for a way to kickstart your garden, our plant sale is this week. You can pre-order um, and pick up your plants on Wednesday at our drive through um, And the link for that is millvillagefarms.org slash plant dash sale. Okay, good. We, we'll have that up at the at the end too. The Village Mill Farms plant sale taking place um, this Wednesday. Tell us a little bit about what the experience is for somebody that goes to check out that sale. They're able to ask some questions and mm -hmm. find their way around? Yes, yeah, so the way that it works is you pre-order online. So mm -hmm. you come and pick up a flat of 20 plants. It'll look very similar to this. Um, it comes with a free bag of fertilizer and also a little card with a handout of how you can plant everything, the spacing requirements, growing requirements, all that sort of stuff. Okay, what's on the list of things we might pick up out yeah, there? Yeah, so the we have cabbage, we have kale, we have lettuce, we have broccoli and collards, some tomato plants and some onions. And that's really what gets you excited about cooking all of a sudden yes. when you have things that are that you can access and, and it's fresh and right there so yeah. Francis we appreciate it we're all inspired <laughs> to do great things this gardening season and anybody interested in pre-ordering a flat you do that online we'll have that link on accesscarolina.com